I'm going to show you how to create neurographic art. Start with a piece of paper, a Sharpie, and a flat glass marble. I'm using a Sharpie here, but you may use pencils for artists when they first learn. Using your Sharpie, start pushing the little glass marble around and maneuver it all around your paper. Let the marble go where it wants to go. This allows for the process to slow down and allow you to draw more with your subconscious and not care as much. If you reach the edge, just pick it up and continue. The goal is to fill the whole paper, but not congest it too much. Once you've filled the paper with your neurographic paths, find each intersection and curve them to make them more round. As you can see here, I'm adding curves and filling them in. Now, if you wish, you can also explore line weight as you move away from the intersection to give it more depth. Remember to just have fun with it. Perfection is not the goal here. Once you've rounded out all of your intersections, fill in each section with color. And as an extra challenge, use colors that make you happy or represent how you're feeling. I've chosen watercolors because I love the variation of dark and light hues, but you can choose from another of other mediums such as fine tip Sharpies, markers, crayons, and colored pencils. You can also experiment with the fill-ins by using lines, dots, and other patterns to fill the space. Just let it flow without getting in your head and about what it needs to look like at the end. Here's my finished product. If you're planning to use this activity as a tool for clients, students, or children, you can incorporate a discussion about the conscious and subconscious while aiming for the subconscious with this activity. Here are some other examples because every single one is meant to be different and unique. So now it's your turn. Enjoy the process.